Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Dirk Van Slyke, Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer at the Open Compute Project Foundation, or OCP. Welcome, Dirk, to JSA TV. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Well, Dirk, for those who don't already know, if you could tell our viewers about the Open Compute Project Foundation, or OCP. Yeah, OCP, as it is more commonly known as, is basically um, a community of um, organizations who um, have open source hardware development, um, specifically around the data center space, but all the way to the edge. So it's organizations that are open sourcing their technologies and collaborating to increase the pace of innovation around hardware and as well as uh, uh, software and firmware. You are attending ITW this year, and, and you know a lot about virtual events. OCP recently hosted its annual Global Summit as a huge virtual event. Can you tell us a little bit about the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it was quite a pivot that we had to make because we um, unfortunately had to cancel our Global Summit that was uh, set to take place in March, and we knew that we needed to capture the momentum of all the content that had been created. We literally canceled that event on a Friday when we were supposed to, to start up on Tuesday. So um, all the content was ready, we were ready to go, but it was just a matter of migrating over to a new platform. And so luckily we, we chose a good partner, we had great teamwork from our volunteer community as well as the staff and some other partners. Um, and we were able to pull it off within about 60 days of when we were supposed to have the in-person event. And so. Um, it was a great event. We had great uh, engagement. We ended up with a much higher audience than um, if we would have had it um, in person, uh, which was a benefit for our sponsors and attendees alike. So we think it was a success, but we definitely learned a lot in the process. Definitely a huge success for, for the virtual event. So now tell us, what does the rest of 2020 look like for OCP? So that's a great question. You know, again, we want to continue the momentum. You know, our key objective here is adoption and bringing together uh, buyers and sellers in our marketplace um, because we want people to contribute. Um, and this stuff has got to get out there because um, it, it's really making a difference when people are implementing OCP based technologies. And so um, we want to continue the momentum and continue to serve as a framework for that collaboration. And so you know, our, our, um, our objectives are that, you know, based around events is going to be that they're virtual until further notice, you know, until organizations start allowing their, their, their employees to start attending larger events. Um, you know, we're in the process of migrating all of our methodologies over to virtual only events for the meantime. Um, and then, you know, hoping that we'll be able to get back to face to face events in the spring of uh, 2021 when we've got our global summit. Okay, lots happening from OCP. Where can our viewers go to learn more, Dirk? The best place to go is to go to our website um, because you can basically connect to everything. So it's opencompute.org. Um, and one of the best ways to interact with OCP and the rest of the community is to start participating in the projects. Um, so we've got a series of projects as well as subject sub-projects that are all based on um, specific technical specifications and technologies. Um, and there's a lot of choices for you to, to, for you to choose from uh, in that place. But sign up for the mailing, mailing list, um, get involved in the projects, and that's really where you find where all the challenges are, the problems that people are trying to solve, and the solutions that are bringing to bear, and that's the best place to collaborate. Lots of ways to get involved. Well, thank you, Dirk, for joining us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning into JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.